Hey there folks, today I've got a little cup battle against Gui Martigon. Sorry, my voice sounds like crap. Um, I've got a little bit of a cold. Anyway, uh, you, this is a very interesting battle because this is a little cup box roulette battle where I provided my opponent with his Pokemon. Uh, I am giving away free little cup Pokemon. If you are interested in some free little cup Pokemon, check out the link in the description. I will give you as many as you want for free, not asking anything in return. I just want you guys to have little cup Pokemon that you can play with. Um, these are all legitimately bred Pokemon, rng would Anyway, um, so the deal was uh, I had a random number generator. I chose six random or 12 random numbers. Um, six for me, six for my opponent. I also gave my opponent uh, my prized uh, Gen 3 legitimate Porygon. Uh, Pomeg Glitch Porygon, and I said, you know, just use any of the six, uh, six of the seven Pokemon that I gave you, and so he chose to replace one of the Pokemon with Porygon, and I don't really fault him because, uh, you know, it's Porygon. It's a really awesome little cup Pokemon. My team kind of sucks in that I have two Stealth Rockers uh, and a Magic Bouncer, um, so lots of ability to set up hazards. He has uh, Surskit, though, and I've got, um, I've got Ponyard, so I'm kind of hoping that he sets up Sticky Web, and then I get the Defiant boost, but, you know, uh, I don't know how likely that is. Anyway, he leads off with his Ball Toy. Uh, I was, I felt bad uh, him getting that Ball Toy, because Ball Toy really does kind of stink, but, um, you know, I, I swear I had, I just went to random.org and chose 12 random numbers. Um, six for me, six for him. I, I didn't want to be biased about it. Anyway, so he sends out Prendar, my wonderful Porygon, and 2010 goes for Blizzard. And as you're going to see, that does less than half. That's incredible, considering this thing isn't even flawless. It's got, I think, one fewer hit point. No, I'll... The, the stats aren't flawless. I think it's one fewer hit point and one fewer defense point, but it's also got one greater speed just based on how the EVs work out. Anyway, he goes for the recover. Excellent move considering the switch was fairly obvious. Now, he didn't have any super effective moves to uh, hit my um, <coughs> Snover with, but you know I knew that he could just recover off until the hill ended. So I go ahead, set up rocks here, figure he, he can't really do anything to my uh, Dwebble other than, you know, Thunder Wave. Uh, so now Dwebble is paralyzed, and uh, that means no shell smashing for me, but that's okay. Now you might be thinking, what are you talking about shell smash? You just ran um, Stealth Rock, aren't you running the utility set? And this is a really weird set that I put together in Gen 5. It's like half utility with Stealth Rock, but then it's it's Stealth Rock, uh, shell smash, and two um, attacks. So Hermione here goes for Rack Slide, uh, and, you know... Uh, doesn't do very much, but I do have X Scissor, which would be super effective against Nescatan, so <clears throat> that's good. He, of course, goes for Rapid Spin. I'm just going to stay in. So you notice, by the way, that Hermione has 22 HP here. I only caught that in this battle, where I was like, oh crap, it's got 22 HP, I want 21 for maximum Berry Juice Recovery, because that way when I get down to 1 with Sturdy, uh, that goes straight back up to 22. So in, in this battle, it didn't matter. Um, because I didn't get down to one anyway, and plus the um, hail had broken my sash. Um, so yeah, here I'm just setting up rocks again. Um, you know, it's just a matter of predictions here. Goes for the earth power. Uh, is actually does a decent amount. Uh, I get fully paralyzed, which sucks. Uh, so I figure here he has to go for rapid spin, or he has to, or I set up the rocks again. So. Uh, I just go for another round of... Oh, I should go for the X-Scissor to get the KO. Because, again, I have another Pokemon on this team who can set up rocks. Yeah, this wasn't really uh, balanced in the, in the sense of the Pokemon that I got. I wish I'd gotten, you know, a, that, another Sweeper. Although I actually have two good Sweepers on this team. So, um, or I guess one Sweeper, one Cleaner. Anyway, out comes Mankey. Uh, my Marcel from Generation 4 takes me out with a close combat. It's running the Scarf set, but its item is Focus Sash. Um, that might sound strange to you, but uh, the idea is that Mankey's back in Gen 4 used to run Scarf pretty much exclusively, so you trick your, and it's got a decent speed, so you trick your opponent into thinking it's Scarf, and then you switch out moves, and then your opponent's like, whoa! But yeah, so, uh, Natu, or Nila, my Natu, um, is my wish passing double screen set uh, it, that I had back in Gen 5. Uh, so I've got the magic bounce up, it, which means that he has to, he's not going to go for T-Wave, or probably not going to go for T-Wave, which means I can switch out here into someone who, but, um, I don't know, I mean, I don't really have any better options. So I go out of Shah Hulud, so even if he did go for the T-Wave, this will be, oh, I went, there was a switch out here, never mind. 
I go for the EQ, does not take him out. He goes for Shadow Ball, um, that's going to do a decent chunk, but I do have, uh, so gets a critical hit, so that's partially why. Special Defense falls, but I've got the Berry Juice, and Shy Halud has 21 HP, so Shy Halud will have been back up to full and back up to sturdy range, uh, no matter what. So, uh, go for the no another EQ, and Prendar is taken down. He could have stalled me out with some recovers, um, but he chose not to. Out now is going to come Keats, my uh, my sticky web surskit from this gem. Just gonna go for the hydro pump. Gonna get me down to my sturdy. I believe this is a speed tie because Shy Hood is pretty darn fast. Uh, I actually go for the stealth rock here, um, just because I wanted to break Marcel's sash. And as you're going to see later, that's going to help me out quite a bit. Uh, Keats is gonna take me out with a 100% accurate signal beam. Um, people say the signal beam is not the best move for the fourth slot, but I think the better move is. Um, Ice Beam, so if anyone who wants this Pokemon wants to, they can just replace it with Ice Beam since Ice Beam is a TM. Uh, so now out is going to come 2010. Uh, I figure even with the Signal Beam, I should be okay. Uh, he goes for the Rain Dance to get rid of my Hail. Uh, not a bad move, all things considered. <coughs> I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain here. It's not super effective, but I will get some HP back. I think I get up to... Do I get up to full? Uh, not quite full, but up to pretty high. Uh, and I know I can, I should be able to take at least one signal beam, uh, and I <laughs> survive on one HP. Uh, so actually, any attack first turn, uh, that, this would be a dead, um, dead Snover. So maybe not my best move, but it was what it was. I don't think he's down to ice, uh, ice shard range, but I go for it anyway because better get some damage off than none. So now 2010 is going to get taken out by another signal beam, and uh, 2010 goes down. <coughs> So, uh, with this, I'm going to go out into Brookside, my, uh, Dragon Dancing Dratini. Uh, oh, I love it so much, I've missed it. Haven't used it since Gen 4. Uh, Keats dies to an extreme speed. This was one of my, uh, first RNGs. Uh, I think this was one of my first RNGs, uh, for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And that was back in the days before people realized, um, that the whole chat uh, chat out thing. So uh, RNGing when you're talking about breeding was really tough back then. So here I go for the waterfall. Um, that's he's already gotten off a of superpower. Uh, that's not going to do enough to take him out, especially considering the berry juice. So um, I is back up to full health. My Inky is doing work. Unfortunately, it's against me. So that kind of sucks. I'm going to go out now into um, into Nila. Uh, because I figured another superpower is on the way, and I can hit him with 4x effective um, U-turn. So Neela is now going to so Neela's going to take a little bit of damage, uh, but now he's at plus two attack and defense. And I think crap, at plus two, I'm not sure that uh, I can take him out. So anyway, I'm predicting here. So yeah, I get him down to half health with a U-turn, and I'm predicting here that he's going to go for a Night Slash because why would he go for another superpower? That would be dumb. Uh, so I got into IBM. My Ponyard. Uh, this is my Life Orb variant of Ponyard. Uh, has the 19 HP. I've got another one that's got 20, 21 HP. Um, critical hit. Doesn't matter anywhere. It's 4x effective. He didn't go for. He didn't take the bait. And IBM is down. So that sucks. That sucks. But now Neela should be able to take out uh, Inky with a U-turn, considering how much last one did. I really hope so because otherwise I am screwed. And I is taken down. Thank you, God. Oh man, that was close. Okay, yeah, I almost got swept by my own Enki. That would have just been very sad. Uh, so now he's my opponent's got two Pokemon left, and either way, I know that I'm going to see a Mankey come out. So out now is going to come what looks like Marcel, but could easily not be. Uh, is it my uh, Zora? And I figure if it's Zora, then I don't want to stay in. If it's uh, Marcel, then I kind of would. Um, he goes for the Night Days, obviously not. Uh, not Brookside, uh, so Neela is taken out, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon. But I know it's I know that it's Zorula now, so I know that I can go for. I, I'm pretty sure I can take one Night Day as long as I don't get the accuracy drop, and I'm survive on three. And thank God! Now I go for the Dragon Dance, and now I will outspeed both of his slash my remaining Pokemon, and I should be able to take them out both with Outrage. So I go for the Outrage here. I'm like, go Brookside, go, go Brookside, go. And Marcel is taken out. Oh, not Marcel. It's my Zoro named Chaos. Uh, not a reference to the owner of Smogon, by the way. It is a reference to a book. Uh, and Marcel is my last Pokemon. And had I not set up the rocks, 
it would have been good game him, but instead it's good game me because Sash is broken. Go for the outrage, and that is going to be a dead Mankey. So that is good, good, good game. Um, my opponent, uh, we Martagon. I'm not sure if I'm not sure pronouncing that correctly, but yeah, great game. I hope you folks back home enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.